Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates. The first one is Hadi Chupan basically showing us his back, and I would have to add in response to Derek Lansford. I mean, is this a coincidence? I mean, it could be, it could be for sure, but I'd like to believe that it's not. I like to believe that he posted this because recently Derek Lansford posted a back shot of his and everybody in bodybuilding world is talking about it, saying how Derek's back double bicep and back lat spread are so dominant, so freaky, to the point where he got some people even changing their prediction and having Derek above Hadi right now. And so, let's say, let's imagine, in response to so Derek, Hadi posted his back update at this point right now, at 7 weeks out, at 60% to his best possible package. So he says, read the history, it's written inside. A warrior does not fight to defeat his rival, he fights to fight his own past, because a samurai has no rival. Hmm... So he's basically kind of telling us that this is not in response to Derek Lansford, but I doubt it. I don't believe it. I don't buy it for a second. Now, as far as Hadi and his back, I mean, I felt like it came up at the Arnold Classic. He looked better than at the Mr. Olympia, but I really think it's mainly the conditioning thing. As long as his back is ripped, shredded, it does look very good. And I would say comparable to Derek Lansford. Is it better than Derek's? No, no, no. There are only a couple of backs in history of bodybuilding that rival Derek's. So Hadi, he is not on that level, not really. But Hadi is very good from the front. And last year, Hadi defeated Derek in the front shots quite handily. But so did Derek. He definitely destroyed Hadi from the back. So this year, it's gonna be the game of closing the gap. As far as these two guys. If Hadi can bring a better back that is closer to Derek compared to last year, and if Derek doesn't close the gap from the front, as much as Hadi does from the back, then Hadi can beat him. Can he win the show? That's a different question. I feel like Samson is probably winning it at this point, but I think this is gonna be a crazy battle, Hadi versus Derek. So, in the back lat spread, I feel like it's gonna be very close. I mean, I don't see Derek destroying Hadi, at least in this shot. Hadi is very wide to the shoulders, and now he, I think he added some more muscle to those lats. I think they're looking better. I think overall he's looking very, very, like, uh, very thick, very bubbly uh, from the back as far as the back lat spread. Again, the crazy width is helping him a lot, and there is a lot of muscle. Now, for seven weeks out, his conditioning is not as good as Derek's at seven weeks out. No, Derek is in much better condition right now. But that's Derek, his back is always super ripped, even in the offseason, but it definitely got much leaner lately, but that doesn't mean anything, Hadi's gonna get shredded for sure, there is 7 more weeks, guys, he can get shredded in 4 weeks, but in 7 weeks he's gonna be 100%, and Derek, he really doesn't have that much work to do on his back, you know, he's already very lean in the back, Hadi has a lot more work to do on conditioning, and I'm sure he's gonna be in the same condition, now, Derek is gonna beat him in the back, I'm not saying that it's that close, Derek is better, he will be better, but if Hadi brings great condition, he's gonna close that gap quite a bit. Now, as for the back double bicep, I feel like this one is also gonna be relatively close. I mean, the back lat spread much closer, but even in the back double bicep, when Hadi is shredded, it actually looks very good. Now, here you can see that his conditioning is not where Derek's is, not even close. But it will be there, in due time. As far as the, the, the development of the muscle, like the lats, the traps... You know, the only thing that I find troublesome here is Hadi's delts. They're gonna look like this, basically, I mean, they're gonna look even worse, you know, as far as looking suspicious when he is leaner. But as far as the back itself, Hadi's back is not to be underestimated, it's actually a very good back. Now, as far as the whole pose, back double bicep, you know, Derek has some crazy conditioning in the glutes and the hamstrings. And as you can see right here, when Hadi was in really good condition, it also looked very good. So once again, 
For Hadi, it's all about closing that gap in the back as much as possible because that's the only reason why Derek beat Hadi last year. And based on what Hadi is showing, what he's posting, I feel like he has something to prove. And that's mainly bringing a really good conditioning and an improved back. And it seems like he did just that. But it seems like Derek is gonna be improved as well, maybe even more improved than Hadi from the Arnold. But, you know, comparing these guys from the last year's Mr. Olympia, who's gonna be better? I feel like Hadi is gonna be more improved, in fact, because he was off with conditioning last year and Derek wasn't. So, in my opinion, Hadi is gonna win this battle this year. But we'll see. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. Alright, the next thing is very interesting as well, it is Samson Dauda basically commenting on Nick Walker and his potential placing at a Mr. Olympia, and it's always fun to see these pro bodybuilders commenting on each other, so uh, somebody asked Samson on his Q&A, your thoughts about Nick Walker out of top 5 Mr. Olympia, and obviously the question was set up that way to, to debate Samson, to set him up to confirm that he believes that Nick is gonna be out of top 5, but Samson's response was uh, very interesting, let me play it for you. What's about Nick Walker out of top five? Who said Nick Walker's out of top five? You know what? You guys need to stop trying to try to spare, stay off beef between athletes. It's very stupid and very shallow and low. Nick Walker is the one of the best bodybuilders on the planet right now. He is absolutely freaking unreal. And you had the nerve to actually try to tell him predict where he's going to be based off what? Stop, stop this staring because I don't fall for it. I find it very stupid. So no. Alright, so Samson definitely did not bite the bait, but I've seen some comments on this page that they reposted this, this story of Samson's. People are saying that, yeah, like, he's right, but he, but he shouldn't be so rude, he should be, like, more polite uh, towards his followers and so on, but no, no, I definitely don't see it that way. I mean, the guy did try to set him up to, to try to create beef between these two guys, and I don't know, it was a lame attempt, it didn't work. Maybe if he set up the question differently, like, what are your thoughts on people saying or like people predicting Nick out of top five then maybe he would give us an answer but even then I don't think so I don't think somebody who is in contention of winning the Mr. Olympia is gonna try and predict the top five or top six or whatever he would never answer that so this was obviously just trying to to bait him to say something against Nick Walker and as far as what he said he's definitely right Nick Walker is one of the best bodybuilders in the world today but if he was, if he really put his mind to it, if he really thought about it, like, if he believes he's gonna win, does he believe that Nick is gonna beat Hardy and Derek? I mean, he already beat Nick, and he never beat Hardy nor Derek. So I think Samson would definitely have Derek and Hardy in his top three. And then as far as fourth, I'm pretty sure he would have Andrew in that top five, either fourth or fifth. And then there is Nick Walker, and does Samson believe that Nick is gonna be, you know, lower than Hunter Labrada or Brandon Curry or somebody else? I don't think so. I really don't think so. I mean, there were times when Nick beat Samson, like the 2022 Mr. Olympia, and even that Arnold Classic 2023 where Samson did beat Nick, it was a battle, it was close. So I'm pretty sure, realistically, Samson would have Nick Walker in his top 5. And this is me trying to predict Samson's top 5, because he's not gonna do it himself. And I understand him completely for not doing it. Uh, as far as him responding to this question this way, it's understandable. That's what he's like. He doesn't wanna, you know, tolerate this kind of stuff. He just said it bluntly, what he thought, and I respect him for that. It was honest, it was real, you can dislike it or like it, it doesn't matter, that's him. Imagine how would Derek Lansford reply to this question. Would he be honest? Yeah, I don't think so either. But we got something also very interesting from Nick Walker, and it is regarding, you know, Samson and, and Derek as well, so it's all connected at this point. Uh, basically, somebody asked Nick in his Q&A, your favorite competitor to share the stage with? And he says, I don't have just one here. I have Hadi Chopin, Samson Daura, Hunter Labrada, and Andrew Jacked. And then he says, there is a lot more, lol. There is a lot more. So there is a whole bunch of other guys out of top six, and also the current Mr. Olympia, Derek Lansford. So Nick Walker decided to exclude Derek Lansford from his favorite competitors to share the stage with. Why is this? Did he forget about Derek accidentally? 
or did he put him in that uh, a lot more group like everybody out of top six and the number one guy accidentally did he just forget <laughs> i don't think so i really don't think so i'm pretty sure there is a reason for this why he excluded Derek lancer from this list i don't know if there's any personal beef between them i'm not aware of one but i feel like if there is anything about Derek on stage there is that one thing that is pretty much annoying the hell out of everybody he takes a step every time he hits the pose and in the transitions as well so like after three poses he's basically jumping he's falling off of the stage literally and you know everybody else needs to follow him because he's a shorter guy smaller guy he tries to out angle everybody and it's annoying you know everybody's not where they need to be like the light is not shining on them properly he's destroying the whole show i hated it when i was watching the mr olympia he was the first who was doing that then hardy was following and samson was kind of he wasn't doing it that much like he was he, he was aware of it he was trying to put Derek back to his place a couple of times it didn't work i mean he would only go back with the judges would tell him that and then he would do the same thing again and everybody else had to follow that thing so if nick was on that stage in the top three top five whatever he would have to pay attention to where Derek's feet are and try to out angle him the whole time yeah i don't like it either and i'm thinking that's probably why nick walker does not like to share the stage with Derek lansford and i don't know i mean maybe there is some personal beef i don't i'm not aware of it but like maybe some things that he said in that uh, battle for the olympia training video they filmed together when Derek was uh, hot mic'd and he basically whispered to uh, Tarek el gindi the other guys are battling for third why am i posing with them maybe nick found that to be insulting maybe that's why he doesn't want to share the stage with him anymore and doesn't like him anymore i can only guess i mean you guys can tell me what do you think but yeah Nick Walker did not include Derek Lansford in his favorite uh, guy to share a stage with and he did include everybody else in that uh, top six basically so whatever your thoughts are guys tell me down below in the comment section if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up for more content about bodybuilding like this subscribe to the channel guys thank you so much for watching all the best and bye bye